Good morning, I'm John Peelin. Today on Fish Head, Jeff Sunday and I are out doing some crappie fishing, but we're doing it a little bit different. We're jigging for them. I mean, we're fishing for these crappies like they're walleyes, and here's why. There's a whole bunch of crappies that are just coming out of the weeds. They're easy to see, and you can fish them just like you would a walleye, and it's a ton of fun because you get to feel the bite. Stay right where you're at. We're gonna show you exactly how to do this, and this is something you're gonna wanna do. Fish Head's coming up. I'll tell you if, you, if you said to me, give me your perfect crappie morning in the fall, late summer, I would pick this, this right is... here. You, you know, a little bit of flat calm, sunshine, they're gonna be able to see really easy. You know, there's more light penetration down there than there's gonna be at any other time of the day if the wind picks up or, I mean, this, this is just ideal. It's a perfect morning for this, isn't it? It's about as good as it really gets sit out here sneak around at them a lot of people are you know throughout the summer they're really used to fishing crappies that last 45 minutes a day like, did you get them right yeah oh yeah. we got two you got one over there too <laughs> yeah i don't think mine's big no i got a littler one you know one uh -oh. of the things though too that you got a big one? Oh yeah look at this <laughs> i'm gonna get i'm gonna get shown up here <laughs> look at that one that's a great fish jeff Mine's gonna go in to eat. Yours is gonna go back. We're gonna let that big one go. Back. He's still pretty though. Oh, what an awesome fish! You know, okay. let's uh, let's tell everybody a little bit about what we're doing here today because, man, I mean, this is this is easy and fun fishing, and and uh, thank you. I think uh, I think this is so overlooked for crappies. So, you know, all we're doing here is we're just straight line jigging them. I mean, we're just vertical jigging these fish, just like you would walleyes in the spring, just like you would walleyes in the fall. I'm just parking the boat over a pile of fish. And we're just vertical jigging them. And, and this is something that, that Jeff actually showed me years ago because, you know, I don't think of doing this. I, I fish floats quite often, and, and floats would work just fine today too. But boy, this is a fun way to do it, especially on a nice calm day like this. You get to feel that bite. And, I mean, this is pretty cool. It is, and one of the best things about it, the, what's nice about dropping down on a tight line, those fish, they'll come up to grab a bait. Yep. And so a lot of times I'll lift my sure. pole up three or four feet and then just walk it down real slow. And that, just as that thing is coming down, they'll right. see it and they'll come up and meet you. Sometimes you can see it on the graph. You can watch the fish come up while the jig's going down. Right, and, then, and that's one thing about a float that, that is a little trickier. You know, I mean, you gotta figure out exactly what level those fish are biting at. Right. Where, where with what we're doing today, you do get to make that constant adjustment. The other thing that's nice about this is just like when you're jigging for walleyes, as I'm sliding back and forth on this, we're just right on a break line here. Every now and then the boat will slip up into 16, then we'll slide back into 17, and then I can also jog the boat around with the trolling motor, move it a little bit over here, a little bit over there. It's such an easy, quick adjustment. When you're when you're straight lining like this, I mean, there's there's really there's really no guesswork. I mean, you can very quickly make that adjustment. There's one, got him. Right when I was thinking, man, I wonder if there's any here. This one hits it. I just moved the boat back a little bit. I didn't move it far. I just jogged it backwards once. It's a giant. <laughs> this thing's huge. <laughs> Wait till you see this one. If I can get him, so that you can see him. Look at that fish. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a crappie. That right is there. awesome, man. It's just <laughs> this is so fun. I mean, that fish just wham, and then he fights all the way up. I want to show you what we're using today because it's a it's a pretty simple deal. This is the Lindy Live Bait Jig, and, and we're using a 16th ounce today, and I'm gonna let Jeff actually talk about this jig because this jig is a jig he developed, and, and a couple of years ago now, we put it into the Lindy lineup, and, and I'll tell you what, it, it's quickly become one of my favorite jigs to drop down for walleyes, crappies, whatever it may be, and I mean, you can tell they like it today, right? Right, yeah. <laughs> you know? But why don't, you, yeah. why don't you tell everybody a little bit about it because this is Jeff's creation, and. Man, it's been catching fish up in the up in the north woods forever. And if you don't got some, you're gonna to need to get some. But. Yeah, that's right. Just, you know, what you said, 
is the versatility of it. You can catch a walleye on it, a crappie, a sunfish, perch, whatever's down there. And that, 30 years ago, I came up with all kinds of different jigs. But what really made me settle on that is one of the better designs, one of the top picks for me was that we could do so many different things with it, you know. And right, and one of the things I'll point out is, you know, I, I mean, a lot of people talk about different hooks, and this is truly a short shank hook. This was designed to fish live bait with fish minnows, crawlers, leeches, whatever it may be. But what's great about it is it's a strong hook. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of hooks out there that'll bend on you when you get a good fish. They'll bend on you. Is that a fish on there? Oh, look at that. Well, I'm oh. sitting here talking about it. <laughs> there we go. They do work. But, but it, I mean, it's a good solid hook, and, and to me, that's big deal one other thing i want to point out because whether it's the lindy jigs or the lindy live bait jigs we did the same thing with these there's never any paint in the eye so when you're out you know you take a day like today you want to change jigs what do you got there buddy you got a big one there oh no I've just a little guy got, bass. oh okay but what happens is you know a lot of times you're out there fishing in a situation where you got the wind blowing it's cold whatever it may be and it gets a little bit tough to tie these jigs on and you know thread them and dig paint out of eyes you don't got to worry about about that with the lindy live bait jig or the lindy jig because both of them have a clean line tie eye so every single time that you tie a jig on you can know that that's gonna you take it out of the box and you just tie it on i mean it's, it's that simple with, they love that yeah. you don't have to gouge the paint out right they just love it There's one. Got him. I don't know. Well, boy, they get bigger as they come up. <laughs> this guy's getting bigger. There's nothing Ooh, wrong perfect, with that one. <laughs> perfect eater size fish here. Let's just hoist him in here. I think I can get him. Yep. Perfect. We'll throw him in. He's a he's a little bit smaller than those big ones we're getting, and yet he's just maybe right. a hair bigger than a few of the eaters. He's perfect fish to eat. You know, one of the things we're doing here today, too, is this, this might not be as much like walleye fishing as far as jigging really, really erratically. One of the things I'm doing here, now I'm fishing a plastic, and I, I've watched Jeff fish, and I'd say we're pretty even today. He might be up a couple on me, but he's fishing a lot less aggressive than I am. And, and, and here's the thing, he's got a minnow down there that can put a little bit of movement on it, and I've got to move it a little bit more to keep that plastic moving, but here's what I'll tell you. This isn't a bounce it by two, three feet type deal like what you're getting with walleyes and we're not snapping it. It's, it's a subtle jigging action. And you know, one of the things you'll notice, and this is where you can, you can do a little bit of what I was doing earlier. You can hang that, that rod right over the back of the boat and you can watch your screen just like you'd be watching it if you were ice fishing. And you can see how the fish react. And one thing that I've kind of figured out is this is about all they want from me today. And they just want a little bump. I'm only moving it I, just a, a few inches. Now, Jeff's moving his a little more when he moves it. But the reality of it is he's letting that minnow do a little bit of swimming down there. So we're giving him a couple different options. And it, it, it seems that as we'll see schools come through, one of them might react over here. One might react over there. For the number of fish we've caught today, you'd think we'd have more doubles. But we've only got one. And I think part of that is just there's a couple different actions down there. I think if if I went to fishing just like Jeff, put a minnow on there, did everything identical to him, I think we'd double up far more often or vice versa with the plastic. One of the things you'll notice is Jeff and I are both using an ultralight panfish setup. Same thing we use with floats. Um, and there's a reason for it. As much as you might feel like, boy, I'm vertically jigging now, I'm gonna go to that, that light action walleye rod. Here's the thing, that's still got a little bit too much backbone. When we set the hook, you can see these rods actually double over. And I mean, there's a lot of play there. It gives that crappie a lot of play, a lot of chance to swim, and we're not tearing their lips out. Right. Yep, there's another thing too about it, that real soft tip when that fish comes and just mouths it a little bit. <laughs> right. It gives you that split second where he doesn't know you're there yet. And right. That sometimes that's that's literally how much time you have to catch the fish. I and I think that's a big deal. I mean let's face it, the you know a crappie when they bite, they'll come up like that, but it's easy for them to just go like that and open their mouth back up. And they're not chasing this bait down. It's not like a walleye that's coming in with, you know, a mouth full of teeth and tearing that thing up. It's, it's easy for a crappie to say, no, that doesn't feel right, and just pop that mouth back open. And, and that's why it's so important for them to not feel you. And Jeff's right, this soft tip makes it so that we feel the fish, but the fish really doesn't know yet what's going on. 
There's a lens break. There. Ooh, that looks like a good one, bud. Coming up. That is a good one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's a little better. Oh, yeah, that's a giant. We'll get him here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> what a great way to wrap the day up. That, that fish is going to get a reprieve and get let go of it. Man, what a ball. And that, this, is, this is a lot easier fishing than what a lot of people think. I mean, you get out here at this time of the year and you can see these fish. It's pretty easy on your sonar. And you can bank on the fact they've come out of those, out of those weeds and they're going to be eaten when they get out here. Just go out there, pick up a handful of 16th ounce Lindy Live Bait Jigs and some plastic, some minnows, whatever your favorite is. And, and I'll tell you what, you can hunt these fish now, you can catch them and it's a ball. This is as fun as any walleye fishing I've done all year, I'll tell you that.